Hello everyone, uh, it's Tabani Wul Malika here uh, on your show, Business Briefing 101. We are here at in, uh, SMMEs in Daba, here at, uh, you know, like City Hall in Bloemfontein. I'm here again with uh, the Chief Operation Officer of uh, the Free State uh, Black Business Chamber, Mr. Lerato Sibusisomakhiti, who's going to tell us, you know, what he actually makes of, you know, the, all the comments, all the engagements, uh, you know, that have already uh, taken place. So he's going to tell us what his view is on all the questions, uh, you know, that have actually been raised uh, during the procession of, of the event. Uh, you know, like some of, some of the businesses are not happy with how, you know, the government department is running their, 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 their business, you know, in as far as assisting uh, the businesses concerned. So we're just going to have, a, you know, like a small check briefly with Mr. Larato to tell us what his take is on, on uh, the proceedings today. So, uh, thank you, Doctor. Yes. Uh, you know what? Um, it's always important to engage business owners themselves because sometimes what even us as a chamber have done in the past uh, as a mistake, I'll add, is that we, we do research, um, desktop research, you know, we find what, what trends in the business world in terms of what problems are out there. And we then try to come up with interventions that we, we think up on our own. But engagement such as this give us a better indication of what people are dealing with each other. As you've heard with the questions that we can, can basically state, you know, I've been working for this long. I've been, you know, bootstrapping, you know, try on my own. I've been able to get to this point. But I know for me to grow, I will need certain help, certain types of help. Whether it be funding, uh, whether it be loans, whether it be grants, whatever it may be. Sometimes it may not necessarily be help in the form of money, mentorship, guidance, you know. And those things are very important, right? And with platforms such as this, this is where we can have such a discussion to understand what are the needs of business, right? And then not only try to come up with things, but partner with them, hold hands with them to say, these are the things that we are thinking of introducing, right? Or these are the things that we may already have in place. But maybe there's a disconnect between the help that you need versus what we've already placed in the market. So let's find ways to help each other, help us as a private sector to be able to you know, tailor these things to your specific needs and let us help you in terms of being able to comply to the things that we already have, right? And all these partnerships are essential because each of us play a different role. The government plays a certain role um, through the agencies as well, like the Estellas and the NEFs and the DFIs and that, and that right? Um, us as a chamber play a different role as well in terms of organizing um, black business, particularly. Um, you have your banks, you have Old Mutual, who has the Masses and the Fund, right? Which was created out of the need to fund black businesses mainly. And we have NetBank, who predominantly play in the informal sector, right? Which is which, which are very crucial things. So these engagements are a place where uh, we can have such life discuss, discussions, rather. And I'm, I'm very glad that we had the state be able to say their piece. We've, we've been able to say our piece as a chamber, and the banks as well have been able to say their piece, so that at least there's a mutual understanding amongst everybody what each each one's role is and how they end. That did you now? You know, like our premier, I mean, he mentioned something very, very important uh, in terms of small businesses collaborating. You know, he mentioned that. You know, particularly, you know, like us as black people, we are not able to come together and support each other. What, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you make of that? That's true. That's true. As a matter of fact, um, not to blow me and, you know, try to raise the, the, the banner of the chamber too much, but the foundation of the chamber was basically that, right? To say, black business predominantly, we don't work with each other. And that's where, when you think of group economics, we are left behind. Um, 
Afrikaners or whoever in the agricultural space, they work as experts um, in the informal sector, as far as shop owners, um, wholesalers, who may predominantly be of East Asian um, cultures, they group together which makes it easier for them if I own a spaza, I go to somebody I know who can give me cheaper prices, right? Which means if another person who's a competitor who's not of our help and who's not from the same culture comes into the same market in the same area, they have other wholesalers who sell to everybody, right? And their prices may be a bit higher, meaning that whatever I sell, and when you sell the same thing, my prices are higher than yours, right? Which kind of kicks me out of the market. And when you start to organize business, right, and to create these links, to create these value chains amongst black business who have a thorough understanding of each other's needs, then you start to find a situation where the economy within each locality around the free state can be able to grow, right? All the informal players can be able to see the growth in what they do, uh, the formalized ones as well, right? And through this, we are basically able to attract more rents into our local economies, into our value chains, and that rent can circulate a lot more before it leaves. And in that way, we are creating wealth within ourselves. That was uh, Mr. Lerato Sibusi Somakhiti of uh, Free State Black Business Chamber. He's the Chief Operating Officer of the Chamber here in the Free State. My name is Tabane Wolemaleka. The day, you know, is like still very long. Uh, we are just taking, you know, like taking a break. There's still more to come. Uh, there will still be more that we, uh, you know, like come back and report, you know, like to you. So just tune in. In the meantime, just follow us on, uh, you know, like YouTube. Our, you know, like our name there is, um, our channel name there is Business Window Magazine Podcast. And then on, uh, you know, like our Facebook channel is Business Window Magazine. And on TikTok, we are also um, Business Window Magazine. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, there's still more to come when we come back.